go over these gel blocks in a little more detail of how the 0 .264 140 grain nozzle ballistic tip performed shot out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. The sample packs is where I get my bullets for my test, subomoeshooting.com. Great place to go get you some sample packs if you're just wanting to do some testing. This here is the uh, low velocity load. As you can see, came out of that jacket. Um, really lacked in penetration. I was surprised. We'll go over that first. Um, I know they they taper these jackets so they hold together better as they peel down. But obviously, it's not really doing anything when your lead core comes out of it and your jacket just kind of stops because it doesn't have the weight to carry it through. But we'll start right to left going over that low velocity load which was traveling 1660 something so um, just over 1650 feet per second when it impacted that gel and you see it opening up really good at about the inch and a quarter mark carrying its good permanent wound cavity from that mark to 12 and 3 eighths before it uh, pin lines and the leading edge of that bullet would have been roughly 18 and an eighth that good portion in here of that permanent wound cavity Largest section of that looks like it's going to be two and seven eighths. So not a terrible performing bullet, but I was definitely surprised. Most of my test low velocities penetrate a lot further, but I think that's just the softness of the lead and the fact it came out of that that jacket. The retained weight on that low velocity bullet was 117 grains. So coming. Left to right, my high velocity load was 2,810 feet per second, and it opened up pretty much immediately, carrying that good portion of the permanent wound cavity just past the 13 inch mark, where it still carried a little bit of permanent wound cavity to the 18 inch mark, pin lined. And the leading edge of the jacket is at 25 and 3 quarter, and the leaning edge of the lead core is 22 and 3 quarter and then I got tears on all four sides of my block so it definitely dumped a lot of energy in. so we're going to be you know, over five inches go ahead and cut these out I'll go rinse the gel out of them and uh, weigh them so we can kind of give a somewhat of a retained weight here. Definitely a, a soft lead. There's not much left of that lead core at all. And if you look at the one of this low velocity, you can see where this was down in the base of that jacket. You actually have that down in here. This long part here was actually towards the the tip of the bullet, so it didn't really mushroom a lot before it did what it did. Let me go rinse the gel. I'll be out. I'll be right back with a weight. We're at 80.1 with the jacket and lead core weighed together. So definitely overall not a terrible performing bullet, not a 
not as good as some of the other bolts I've tested I definitely would not hesitate to use these bolts hunting especially white tail deer antelope mule deer um, I would definitely not uh, not push it too much on elk I would try to get a bullet that holds together a little bit better if I was gonna hunt elk but overall good performing bullet hope you guys enjoy the video